right. All right. Well, here's something for you, Rob. Um, Aaron Glenn, defensive coordinator for the Detroit Lions. Do we have that quote, Rob G? In 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 talking about uh Brock Purdy, he talked about him very favorably. They're meeting this weekend, of course, in San Francisco in the NFC Championship game. And here's what he had to say. He said, just from watching the tape, he, Brock Purdy, highly competitive. He understands not about him. It's about the masses of the whole team. He understands he has really good players around him. His job is to deliver the ball to those good players, and he's doing it at a very high level. You see that once he hits his back foot, the ball's out. He understands timing. When you have that, and listen, Rob Parker, I'm not comparing him to Joe Montana, but you see those trades as far as once he hits the back foot, the ball is out. A lot of coordinators. He knew that was for me. Aaron <laughs> Glenn was like, I better say this. Did he? Wait a minute. He did you not cut out part Rob of the Parker. quote, Chris. I mean, Rob G. What's that? It said, go ahead. What was part of that? Read that again. The, the part about Montana? About not. I'm not. Oh. What did he say? I'm not comparing him to Joe Montana. Right there. And then he said, Rob Parker. And then he finished the quote. <laughs> but you see they just cut traits. it out, Chris. <laughs> as far as when he hits the back foot, the ball is out. A lot of coordinators and quarterback coaches like that because of the timing. He, hit, he fits the system very well, and he's doing a really good job at it. All right. And, Rob, Aaron Glenn, now he brought up Montana unsolicited. Right, it wasn't like he was asked. It, you know, he's been compared to Montana. What do you think, um, Jerry or Jerry Rice, who was obviously uh, great with Joe Montana and won two Super Bowls with him? He has compared Purdy to Joe Montana. Uh, Steve Young has called him elite, and and Rex Ryan also, for what it's worth, has compared him to Joe Montana. So, Rob, do you think? The talk, the chatter about Brock Purdy is way over the top. Now, he has his detractors, too, obviously. So there's there's both sides to it. But do you think that those that are praising him, I, I like him a lot. I've never said he's going to be Joe Montana. But um, I want to be a little bit more measured before I go there. But um, what are your thoughts on, do you think this stuff is just over the top? Yeah, I think it's over the top, lazy. I, I just... And Chris, here's the problem. It's not that if it's just that Joe Montana is one of the all time greats who's done so many things. Before you put somebody in that conversation, can can they win something? Can they like like seriously? Like that's just you could say he reminds me of Well, that's kind of what they're saying. No, 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 but he can remind but but he reminds me of a couple of guys. He reminds me of a couple of guys. And don't say names? No, or just say, well, you know, Joe Montana did this. This quarterback who maybe isn't on that level, who is pretty good, did that. And this, you know, but when you take another guy who played in San Francisco, who won four Super Bowls, 11 touchdowns, no picks, three MVPs in a Super Bowl. Like when you start to talk about that and you and you put up – uh. Brock Purdy, I just think some people are going to coil or, you know, like immediately shut down after hearing it. definitely causes a reaction, whether positive or negative. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Because, because, I don't know, I I just think when you have all-time greats, you got to be real careful of comparing them to people. And I think you put a lot of pressure on the guy you're saying is that guy. And then um, I think people look at it and go, it's also kind of like a diss to Joe Montana. Like, like this kid hasn't won anything. And well, we do it all the time. And he's Joe Montana? I'm just, I'm just saying. Zion Williamson, the new Charles Barkley. You know, like we, we do do that all the time. Yeah, but I mean, not. Remember I'm, how many I'm talking about all Jordans time. there were. Baby Jordan and well, Harold right. Miner was the only one I remember. That's the only one I remember. Oh, gosh. Harold Who Miner else? was was Stackhouse. I mean, everybody was supposed to be like Jerry Stackhouse, I think. But they call Harold Miner was. His nickname yeah, was Baby Jordan. they called him Baby Jordan. Jordan. I, I mean, that was the only, when, when that was the only Stack, guy. Cleveland. Did you cover him? Yeah. Yep, he wasn't playing very much by the time I got to him. He he had been, I think, in Miami maybe. Okay. And then he was in Cleveland when I covered him, but he wasn't playing much. But um, here's what I'd say, Rob. And I, I look, I don't get mad 
when people throw out these comparisons. I would like to be a little more measured, but if guys want to throw that out, if they feel like they see it, then that's fine. Because Joe Montana wasn't Joe Montana until he was Joe Montana. You know what I mean? Like, nobody thought Joe Montana was going to be that. He was third-round pick, wasn't an All-American at Notre Dame. I know he had moments. He played at but, a pretty big school and program. Like, he didn't want yeah, nobody. Yeah, but even he, then, Notre Dame wasn't special. Remember, they had their times where they weren't No, I know, special. but I'm just saying it's still a, a But he, a, he, he had a story, 25 a, touchdowns a, and 25 interceptions. Yeah, Chris, in it was a different career. time. We could talk about but You could talk about a lot of guys Rob, during that there time. There were people putting up way better now. He wasn't All-American. He was not supposed to be some great quarterback. He backed up freaking Steve DeBerg for a year and a half. So, I mean, like, that's my point is some great players, greatness proceed, like, they come into the league, they're hyped up, and they're supposed to be great, and they are. John Elway, Peyton Manning, you know, there's guys like that. Then others, and I don't know if Brock Purdy will become this, but others catch us by surprise. Montana was one of them. He was two and six in his first eight starts. And, and even in, like, the, the famous game, the catch, right, which is an iconic play. I, I still remember where I was in the basement of my house in Syracuse, New York, in junior high school watching the game with my father. I was pulling for the Niners. He was pulling for the Cowboys, so he got mad at me when did they he, made the catch. He did get mad at me. Did he, did he, he kick was, like, the, mad at me. Did he kick the console TV trash. in, Chris, like the one that used to oh, be a part of the mad. furniture? Old you remember that? School TV. Yeah, it was it was it wasn't part of a furniture, but it was. But you know like what I'm furniture. saying? The old TVs oh, that yeah, used to be yeah. built into like the the, the oh, furniture. Yeah, right. yeah no, nah, it was a it was it was a yeah, obviously an old a regular TV. But set. anyway, um before Rob, in that game, Montana had three interceptions and a fumble. Now he didn't lose the fumble, but he had three interceptions before the catch. So he was having a bad game, and obviously he made that catch and the rest is history, or made that throw to Dwight Clark who made the catch. And so, I mean, obviously you could talk Tom Brady. It wasn't Tom Brady for a long time, right? Even when he was winning Super Bowls, people didn't think he's like some superstar quarterback. And so that's all I'm saying is Brock Purdy could – Let's see what he grows into. The dude is off to an incredible start. I mean, you really couldn't ask for a better start to a career. I think he's okay. 20 and 5. He's 3 and 0 oh in playoff games that he starts and finishes. He he's in the he's cuz people talk about Brock Purdy Rob. And I I think you might agree with me, but maybe you won't. People talk about him like he's 29 years old in his ninth year. This dude is in his second season. This dude has not even played two full seasons, two full regular seasons. And yet he's in the MVP conversation to the point where he's one of the five finalists. He's led the league in significant categories. And he's playing in his second straight NFC championship game. So and and if if he if he bombs out and loses to the Lions, just say they won't mention it with Joe Montana ever again. I guarantee you that that'll be why like why not? Because I'm just his, saying because I I, I I just because what don't, if he comes back next year and plays with like I mean you I, don't I, 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 I just, Montana I just didn't think make that the playoffs I, the year after they won I the think Super Bowl. That, I think that there are always moments that you have. I still, I, I, Chris. He may never get, and I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just talking about what could have been and what could have changed. That game against the Ravens could have just could have changed the way people looked at him and the narrative. If he would have, you know, won that game and played well and 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 sold up the MVP, then then there's hard, it's hard to have a conversation about a guy who just won an MVP, no matter where where he was drafted or what what you like or don't like. It changes the whole conversation, and that just didn't happen. 
I don't know if he'll ever get back there. I'm not convinced he'll ever back where? Be, it, be, be on the threshold of maybe winning an MVP. So I don't one know. bad game? Ruins it. I mean, what about how he played against Dallas? There's so how many. How he played uh, against Seattle? There's so many how other he great. Against there's so many other great quarterbacks in the league. I, I I'll say right here, right now, that he won't win a super. He won't win an MVP in, while he's a quarterback. I, I mean, I, okay. So I feel I feel that way because I just think that there are other guys who are more talented than him. I don't care what his stats are. There are other there were guys, guys more talented who are more than Joe talented. Montana. There were guys more talented than Tom Brady. Well, what I like about you, and you know I'm a big intangibles guy when it comes to quarterbacks because those are, right now, I, we both agree. I, well, I think, yeah, they're the two greatest right now. I think Mahomes is very close to passing Montana, but I think they're the two greatest. And they weren't the greatest physical specimens, didn't have the strongest arms. And, again, I'm not saying Brock Purdy will become them, but I'm saying he, they were cool under pressure. They were poised. They, uh, you know, made smart decisions and plays, and they were accurate, and that's all Brock Purdy. And so I, I, my point is just that, I mean, just like you're saying he'll never win an MVP, you're projecting in the quote-unquote negative. Some of these guys that compare him to Joe Montana, obviously with big-time football pedigree, they're just projecting it. They the projected him. Who was the receiver we had on? Who works for the the works for the Niners? We, me and him had a big debate. I told Not him the he was receiver wasn't. DeAndre Whitfield, uh, Dante yeah. Wilfield. Yeah, I told him DeAndre he wouldn't Whitfield. win. Remember yeah. that he, we got. Yeah, we, he loves him too. Yeah, so, we mean, had a big thing. I told but, him he wasn't going to win the MVP. But they're not doing anything different than you, other than they're going the opposite way. Yeah, you're projecting just, negative. They're projecting positive. So yeah, I'm just saying know. in that in that moment or situation, he was very convinced that he would be the MVP, and I wasn't. That's all. And I'm not convinced. Yeah, that I that ain't moment knocking the kid that, for being that, that in the moment, top five MVP conversation. I just don't. That moment that moment was a big moment for him, and it and it didn't happen. What? What? Well, Philly wasn't big. No, no. That really? that game that wasn't no. a big game. Nope. Dallas not wasn't as, a big game. Not as big. Not as big as that Ravens game on Christmas night. Dallas nope. wasn't a big game. Nope, not as big wow. as that. He had one big game. Jacksonville at that time, Jacksonville was rolling. Not a big nope. game. Nope. Seattle, not a big game. Nope. It's ridiculous.